All right, here we go. Beautiful evening. Could probably get up to the clouds. We're still climbing about 750 feet, about 25 miles an hour. A little bouncy up here, about 782 feet. Probably hold down just a little bit below this. It's a little bit bumpy here. We'll drop down about 700 or a little bit less. See how that looks. It's really pretty out here today. Everything's turning really green. We've dropped down to about 575, uh, and it's pretty smooth here. Just a little bouncy. We're about uh, flying for 12 minutes here. We're about 450 feet, doing about 30 miles an hour. This is our uh, first 80-degree day today. Starting to climb, and always uh, we go from cold to hot. Not a whole lot of in-between. A little campfire down there. See which way the wind's blowing. We're going kind of to the side of the, the wind. We're doing about 28, 350 feet. We're cruising about 5,100 RPMs. About 565 feet. Doing about 28 miles an hour, about about 500 feet. Been flying for about 20 minutes. Using Fly Sky I as my navigator. After one of my last videos where I was talking about uh, different applications that I use, uh, I had uh, several people uh, comment that they had some applications that uh, uh, were really cool. I think bbgzone.com, I think is what it uh, was called. Uh, had a pretty cool uh, website that you could punch in your your location and it would tell you the winds and so forth in that area. It looked like it was an application piggybacking off of uh, windy.com. At least that's mine thought of what it uh, was using, but uh, it was pretty cool. Had some other apps. About 580 feet in the air. About 31 miles an hour. Trims are about uh, 3 on this Dudek Universal 34 meter. And I'm probably about 75-80% weight on it. If not a little bit more, depends on how much barbecue I eat the day before. Been flying for about 23 minutes. Got plenty of fuel and some thermals over here. Not seeing any buzzards or hawks or eagles, 34 miles an hour. Next weekend, the uh, Tri-State Skywalkers uh, are gonna fly out of Circleville 
Ohio, which is over by Columbus, and they're going to fly over here to this area uh, just south of me, uh, pretty close to my my house over in uh, Wolf Run. Uh, there's an airport over in Caldwell, but it's called Wolf Run. There's a lake, very pretty place. Make sure you bring your uh, bug spray and tick lotion or tick spray. Ticks are out. About 354 feet, doing about 28.9 miles an hour. Flying for about 35 minutes. Going to get some rotor off this hill off to the right here. We'll stay a little bit left away from it. We're about 2.9 miles away from the runway. It's pretty much straight ahead and over the trees. We're going to fly low down here in this area for just a little bit. We're down about 168 feet. Make sure there's no power line that they've put up since I've last flown out here. About 91 feet. Okay, some altitude, then get back over towards the runway. Still early, 6.46. Still got buttery skies here probably within the next hour. So we'll go back and fill up with some fuel and see if we can find some buttery skies. And a nice uh, sunset would be nice. So we're about 400 feet, been flying for about 54 minutes, about a mile and a point two from the one runway, about 5,200 RPMs, just uh, picking our way through these trees. And we'll just make it right back to the runway. We're just idling above here. Slow slowly descending. It's about 651. Starting to really smooth down low. Make sure my trims are even. Don't see any aircraft in the area. A lot of mud out here on this uh, runway. Kind of sloppy out here. Okay.